Huawei is one of the most innovative and skilled smartphone manufacturers on the planet in many ways, since the Huawei P60 series just made its official debut in China on March 23, its new flagships are always worth keeping an eye on, instead of the anticipated Huawei P60 Ultra or Huawei P60 Pro Plus, the new flagship line includes the standard Huawei P60, the Huawei P60 Pro, and a top-tier model called the Huawei P60 Art, there may also be a Huawei P60e or P60 Lite that is more affordable in the works, but neither one has yet appeared, nor have we heard anything about it, on March 20, 23rd, Huawei unveiled the P60 series to the Chinese market, the P60 and P60 Pro are currently on sale there as of March 30, while the P60 Art will go on sale on April 7. Huawei P60 standard starts at $660, Looking back, the Huawei P50 series made its debut in China in August 2021, but it took another five months before it was available in other places. It did not make its debut outside of China until January 2022. Thankfully, it seems that the P60's global rollout will happen a little more quickly. It appears that the leaks and speculative renders that we saw prior to the P60 series' unveiling were accurate. A 6.67-inch 1220x2700 LTPO OLED display with an adaptive refresh rate that can scale from 1Hz to 120Hz, and an in-display optical fingerprint sensor, are central to the designs of all three phones. Undoubtedly, the P60's camera array is its most distinctive design feature across all models. Its large central element houses the phone's primary 48-megapixel sensor while an ultra-wide and periscopic telephoto sensor are offset on the camera bump above and below. Since it is a novel sensor configuration, the P60 series should be immediately recognizable from a distance. Regarding the remaining hardware, the four-way curved edge front of the IP68 certified bodywork is covered in the same tough and Kunlun glass that Huawei introduced on the Mate 50 Pro last year. A glass back and a polished color matched metal frame are also present, the P60 and P60 Pro are available in four different colors. Rococo Pearl, Violet, Black, and Green. The white finish is particularly striking because it resembles the white Nasser found inside an oyster shell. With a more natural-looking camera bump and a custom finish available in Azure Blue or Seashore Gold, the P60 Art stands out from the crowd. The new covert triple rear sensor setup has replaced the dual matrix camera design of the P50 series. The 48 megapixels primary RIBI arrangement sensor, a Huawei favorite that this time promises increased light sensitivity, as well as optical image stabilization, are shared by all three P60 models. The XMAG camera system on the P60 also features a 13 megapixels f2.2 ultrawide and a 12 megapixels f3.45 x optical zoom periscope telephoto lens with a maximum magnification of 50x. While this is happening, the P60 Pro and P60 Art both upgrade to a better 48 megapixels optically stabilized night vision periscope telephoto camera. This camera has a significantly wider f2.1 aperture, which should enable much better telephoto zoom shots in low light than almost any other phone out there, as well as a maximum 100x zoom range. The P60 Art has a larger, more energy-dense 5100 mAh silicon oxide power source, while the P60 and P60 Pro have 4815 mAh lithium polymer batteries. In essence, even though all three models contain batteries of equal capacity, the P60 Art cell should last longer due to the newer, more sophisticated technology in use. However, the P60 Pro and P60 Art stand out due to their 88 watts wired charging speeds, while the standard P60 still offers unquestionably quick 66 watts wired fast charging. All three P60s have 50 watts wireless charging capabilities. The nice thing about the P60 series is that there isn't much difference between the three tiers of devices in the lineup, so even if you choose the base Huawei P60, you'll still get some of Huawei's best work to date. Similar to the Mate 50 Pro and suggesting comparable performance to devices like the 5G-capable 8 Plus Gen 1-powered Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 or the most recent Realme GT3, all three phones will be powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset starting in 2022. Intriguingly, users in China will experience Hongmeng OS 3.1, but Huawei's global website lists the P60 Line's international variant as using EMUI 13.1 instead of Harmony OS, likely based on Android 13, but without the Google Play Store. 
it appears that we'll have to wait until April 7 to learn more about what the P60 series has to offer overall, including regional pricing and availability, as well as variations in user experience. However, even after the wait, we have little doubt that all three of these phones would rank among the top Huawei models available, based on what Huawei has so far demonstrated. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you soon.